Yup, we're playing Dragon Quest 4 today. Yep, this is the DS version of Dragon Quest 4. But it's not just any DS version of Dragon Quest 4. As you can see, we are in the town of Endor. I wonder what our, our party members have to say about that. Oh, would you look at that? Elena has something to say. Using Colosseum for wedding is a waste of good fighting time. So, as you can probably tell, we got the party chat back in Dragon Quest 4 for the Nintendo DS. This is a feature that was removed in the DS version in North America, and we haven't had it in the in the DS version for years. We had to uh, play the iPhone and the Android version to basically enjoy this feature, where basically you walk around town, you talk to random characters, and your party members have something to say. So Ragnar, when he first came here, the tourney was over and the casino was shut. There was a waste of there wasn't a th thing to do. He's got like a, he's got the Scottish accent. You see how much characterization is here that was missing in the original. Uh, now, you might be wondering like how the heck this happened. Basically, we've never been able to get, get this done because the uh, American, the English version, the English and European version had certain files we needed cut out. So basically, this is the Japanese ROM with an entire English translation that also translated the party chat so that the characters can talk to you. And that's how this is done, and it works pretty well. I have tested it quite a bit, and it works very, very well. This is the end of the game. This is Chapter 6 of Dragon Quest IV, so this is like post-game stuff we're going to be running around. So I figured it would be fun if we took everyone out for a little spin. We, like, talk to characters and see what the party chat, how the party chat works. Just have a little bit of fun playing Dragon Quest IV. I don't know. It's been a while since I played this. Uh, I, I like this game a lot. It's a very fun game, and this is how it's meant to be played, with the characters being able to talk. So let's do some exploring. Why not? So right now, the uh, wedding's going on at Endor Castle. Have you come to see the Royal Wedding? Uh, yes, I have. Just check one of the doors to the left or the right and go inside the castle. All right, so we'll go to the the rightmost door. And, I, and you, the cool thing is you hit the B button and then your characters have something to say just like that. So Castle, and uh, Kirill and Elena have Russian accents in this game, so. Castle is being filled with bustle and hustle. Perhaps this is eff effect of never-ending nuptial ritual. <laughs> never-ending nuptial ritual. Oh my god. I, can you believe that we, we got stuff like that removed from the original game? So yeah, uh, the DS version, if you had B, then uh, there would just be nobody there to talk to you. But in the iOS version and the Android version, these people would talk. So this, this script was basically ripped from the Android and iOS version and injected into the DS port. So this is like the complete definitive version of Dragon Quest 4. Uh, the characters don't always say something though, they don't They don't always have something to say. It's a Coliseum, Royal Wedding is taking place here. Alright, let's check out the Royal Wedding, why not? So there's some sort of wedding going on over here from the, the princess and the prince. They're basically having like a feud, their, their families. And Elena and Tornico managed to unite the two kingdoms so here we have what the uh the wedding going on here it looks like they're just dancing i can't rotate my camera much either it doesn't i'm gonna i'm gonna have a hard time you know ad-libbing this it is no a wee bit risky for the prince and princess to be left without a single solitary god stand and watch yeah i guess so but there, it looks like this is pretty public. Oh, look at them. They're kissing. They're hugging. Colosseum is sacred battleground where true warriors clash in dramatic faction. Damn, so Elena's not much of a romantic type. She's disappointed that there's no fighting going on in the in the arena. Well, Sarevna, <laughs> one day married prince in ceremony resembling this. And yet, and yet, this is idle speculation. He's such a simp. He's a simp. Okay, uh, so Kirill is upset about that. It's it's bringing back bad memories for him. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, let's go. Let's go to different places in the world. This is a big world. Dragon Quest Four is a big world with lots of different places. So we're gonna check out some other places too. Let's talk to some people. We're in Endor right now. This is like the uh, the the city trade capital hub of the world. Tornico has a little shop around here. As a matter of fact, we can go check that out. Uh, this is Tornico's? No, that's the that's the casino. Let's check out Tornico's shop. There's his wife. There's Tornico's wife. Ah, forget that. 
my fella's away at the moment. He went off traveling in search of the legendary sword. The accents in this game are ridiculous. There's, it's, it's all uh, it's fiends. It, it's ridiculous. This Tornico Taloon will be safe if he is being with us. His wife can desist from anxiety. Jinx Tornico's mistress is a bonnie lassie, and no mistake, she's wasting on that great gun. <laughs> Ragnar's like, why does freaking Tornico have such a hot wife? He's like this fat weirdo. Oh, I'm sorry, I did not mean to invent <laughs> that Tornico. <laughs> Look at this. This is character interaction. These characters are like talking shit about each other behind behind, behind each other's backs. That is so funny to me. Think about it. They they removed this in the original game. How how can we have a proper Dragon Quest four without this? This is the game is nothing without this kind of interaction. Here's Tornico's kid, his son. So they open up a bank. Establishing bank is not being simplistic. Oh, I'm not even gonna try this anymore. Mental capacities. All right, let's get the heck out of here. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. This is this is Endor, and. I figured we'd go check out some other kingdoms and see what else is there is out there. Princess Veronica and Prince Regan's wedding ceremony. Unbreakable universal law. Only prince... Okay, you see this right here? It, the the translation's not perfect. You see that little... The big gap? Like, it says only and then prince. It's not perfect. There's a lot of coding involved. A lot of weird stuff involved. The guy who, who did this translation did a very good job. Obviously, there's going to be little bugs here and there like this. Oh my god, this guy's so pathetic. Curls, he's lucky he's such a good uh, a good healer, because otherwise I would not keep him around, because he annoys the crap out of me. Especially with his AI, always casting Thwack on people, and I'm missing. Here's the shady, here's the shady what weapons dealer in the back of town that sells all the good stuff. Not the crap. A lot of strange things on sale here. Uh, let's see. This is the armor shop. Cloak of Evasion. Look how expensive that is. I could buy it though. It looks like I have, how many do I have in the bag? I have one. Actually, no, I've got several. Ragnar, Mina, Saro, uh, Kirill, and Tornico are all equipped with it. And then I could have sworn they, they sold the, the meteorite, for, or no, they don't sell that here. That's, uh, that's at the immigrant town that Hank Hoffman starts. Now, let's, get, let's just get out of Endor. This place is annoying. Welcome to Endor. Okay. There's that badass music. Previously, I considered no one was as formidable or courageous as the fighters Sarevna. When Solo is wearing Zenithian equipment, he has an appearance of true Zenithian. Okay, so another interesting thing. If you use this, this, this uh, mod, you can't name your character. That's one thing I was disappointed by. You are by default called solo by everyone. You can't even name yourself. So you have to be solo, or, or if you're female, you have to be Sophia. And that just hard coded into the game. And there's no way to get around that, which is unfortunate, but whatever. It's, it, it's not, not a bad price to pay. There we go. Good old hot air balloon. And the map, the DS's map. This is, this is how it's meant to play, because the mobile port, it, it doesn't, I don't think it has the, uh, the map that, that goes on while you're also flying around. So let's see, where should we go? There's so many places to visit. I don't even know where to begin. Hot air balloon, by the way, really badass air machine. I, I don't care what anybody says, it's a lot better than a flying whale. Oh, and it's turned nighttime. Well, I guess we should find a place to rest for the night. Maybe this place? Sure, this looks curious. Oh, this is the place, this is the place where uh, Kirill was bed, bed struck. Mintos. See, they even talk about the town they're in. Mintos is a location where everyone was. <laughs> See, he's talking about how this is a place where freaking where Kirill was was uh, sick and in bed, and we had to go find fever few seeds to bring him back. He's feeling shame. He's so sad. K Kiro's collapse. Shade of Puce. Slap his face repeating firmly. <laughs> she slapped his face. Then we dragged him to the hotel. Oh, he's cats doing here. I'll check that out in a second. 
Oh wow, this guy's This guy's got the his eyes on a nun. Man trembles so violent as flowers petals to the ground. They talk about all the random characters that you meet. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. Alright, who's this guy? See, they talk about it. She's talking about how this guy was sleeping outside. You see this kind of attention to detail. You see how cool this is. The characters will literally say something after you talk to anybody. Like, they'll have some sort of comment to say. That's, that's crazy. Let's jump on. Let's jump on a well. Let's jump down a freaking well. Oh look, a mini metal. All right, here's another thing. You see how this found mini metal? They had to edit, edit it. Normally, it would say, "What look, a mini metal," but in this hack, they had to make it to change it to found mini metal because of like character, character limits and things like that, and also uh, a bunch of other technical stuff but they had to they had to make a few little changes like that so there's obvious little little changes here and there if if, if it's saying what luck a mini metal is that important to you then you might be disappointed but it's a couple things little shortcuts they had to make to get this whole thing to work and it's impressive this is like thousands of lines of dialogue they had to get fit in what is this guy's doing here oh ilton's apprentices huh Maybe we'll hop in the hot air balloon and go try to find another place, because it looks like we're running, running out of things to do here. My quest for the magical stuff. Rowan the Wandering Wandsman. Found myself in a town, rumored to have the links to the magical stuff. Oh, it's hidden in a cave nearby. I feel like I have it already, but I'll have to check. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, so uh, the coolest thing about Dragon Quest IV is that you don't just have four companions. No, no, you have more because uh, they're all sitting, they're all hanging on that uh, that wagon right there. So what we have is uh, these characters, including Sorrow, the Manslayer, or is it just Sorrow? I guess you can call him. Uh, let's get him going. Let's get the, my girl Elena, toughest uh, toughest girl ever, and I'll get Ragnar McRyan, Sure. Let's see what Star has to say. I'm fortunate because I possess a Zenithian sword and armor. She wants the Zenithian claws. They should make Zenithian claws. That would be cool. Ah, uh, Ragnar wants to equip it. They, everyone's jealous that this guy's got the Zenithian equipment. She wants an enemy somewhere that we're required to fight against. Our Mary Lou saying nay, so not much for not not much to say there. I want Sorrow to say something. Maybe, maybe we can go visit Rose. See what he says there. Now Rose Hill should be around here somewhere. Uh, Sorrow's got a girlfriend named Rose. Yeah, this is where she lives. All right, here's Rose Hill. This is the home of the dwarves. Oh, it's you, Sorrow. Welcome back. Everyone in the village is doing well, it seems. See, he's talking about the village. This is his village. Uh, let's see what else is around here. Another dwarf. Wait, is Rose with us? Oh, she is! She follows us around when we're in here. Huh. They need to realize that friendship is not about what kind of creature you are. Oh, that's not a nice message to send home. So Rose Rose follows us around when we're, when we're in Rose Hill. That's pretty cool. So we have a party of five. Okay. Ah, there's a horse. Whoa, holy shit. I, I, didn't, I forgot that he talks. Oh my god. Nay, it's great to see you back, Sorrow. Oh, god. That always gets me out of it, because I... Okay. Horses in Dragon Quest do talk sometimes. Like, in Dragon Quest 3, there's a horse called Ed the Talking Horse. Always freaks me out. Always freaking freaks me out whenever an animal in, in the series talks. Sammy Soul, is there ever time when you're not knowing where you should journey next? Yes, I'm having that moment right now. Kind of wish Dragon Quest 4 would just last forever, but it can't, unfortunately, because, you know, it's a video game. Who's this? Rose! Hey, stop being discriminatory towards humans, lady. This place is just full of dwarves who hate humans, or I guess they're indifferent. There's good equipment here, too. 
Uh, Rose Hill. Basically, Rose was trapped in this. Oh, look at this. Another dwarf man. Alright, we get it. Talking about monsters and humans and all that. Give me that. Open that. Oh, look at that. A mini metal. A mini metal. What do you know about what happened on Rose's Snatched? The humans didn't go to a room alone. Some kind of monster led them there. Okay, well, what is that supposed to tell us? You know where you need to go next, I'm sure. Huh. Some kind of monster... That means that there was some kind of conspiracy against Sorrow. Isn't that what that means? Huh. Interesting. I wonder what level everyone is. Level 99, huh? <laughs> Not bad at all. Yeah, these guys are pretty tough. Who's this guy? See, Rose is a good a good lady. She's she she agrees that humans are not so bad. <laughs> if coming here is your way of showing pity towards me, I'm afraid you're wasting your energy. That that is the Yggdrasil flower in our thoughts with my own eyes. Well, that was a nice little stop by uh, Rose's place. Let's go check some other places out. Let's see what old Hank Hoffman's up to. He probably didn't do anything yet. Uh, what is this place again? I forget which castle that is. Uh, forget it. Let's go back to Zamoskova or whatever the heck that place uh, Elena and Kirill are from. I, I know this map really well. When you play this game, you gotta like learn where everything is, is the thing. That's a big thing about the game. Here we go. Are, are there people in this castle? What the heck? Oh, this place is still overrun by monsters. I forgot about that. Forgot about that. Didn't we save everyone? Jeez, I'm sure they're probably uh, they're, they're probably here. Oh, maybe there's a super boss. Let's walk around. Let's walk around and see what's going on here. Uh, there's this guy. I'm very much happy to see you after such a loot. Huh? See, she's even talking about the fa about her father. If only we had Kirill here, he could tell us what he thinks, but we dropped him off in favor of Sorrow, because Sorrow's a badass. And we like Sorrow. What do you have to say? Interesting. You see how fresh the this experience is? Just having the party chat dialogue makes this worth playing another time, like makes it worth playing a second time. What is with all these guys in this world, like, and nuns? They're all into nuns, what the heck? That other town had a guy who was also love with a nun, and like, the nuns like, we're gonna probably be like, no, I can't. Okay. Where the heck is Joseph Starling?
I'm just really confused about what what's going on here. This is an old save. <laughs> it's an old save. I don't remember what happened. It's like one of those situations where you play an RPG after a while and you kind of don't know what the heck's going on. I'd have to play this from start, like from scratch, if I wanted to get a, a fresh experience. What's my favorite town in Dragon Quest IV? Let me think. It's hard. I gotta think. I'll just fly around. Huh. That's the the French place, I think. Oh no, the French. What's this place? Old Finn. Is this Tornico? Yeah, this is Tornico's town. This is where he used to live. The dog's guarding his house. There's not much here for us, to be honest. I'm looking around, trying to find things to, to do. This cave, did we go into this cave? Ah, this is the water cave. Oh, uh, sand vipers, these guys are cake. That's easy. All right, let's. You gotta to get into there. You need to throw a certain stone. I wonder if we have it. Does it look like we have it? I don't think we do. Um. Shoot. There's like a rock that you have to find. That. All right, looks like we don't have it. Let's go grab it then. No reason not to. Damn, Saru is a beast, look at that. It's destroying these guys. I'm a big fan of caves. They're always abundant with the rare and powerful monsters. They are, that they are. So they, they say something after any situation. It's like, it's like they're real. It's like they're real people. It's like they're real life people. Okay, uh, let's, to get that stone, I'm pretty sure we have to go all the way to the west. Yeah, that's that's where we need to go. All right, hopefully we can check that out. Damn, it's taking a while. All right, here we go. And down here in the shore, there's. Is it night? Is it, it is night, I think. What the heck? Where's that 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 stone then? The Sage of Stone? No, that's not it. Sage of Stone gives you uh, your magic back. I'm pretty sure uh, I'm pretty sure this stone's not in our pocket right now. A silver tarot cards. Those are nice. Let's see. I'm just trying to check to see if we have it in our pockets. Dragon Shield. That's a lot of Yggdrasil. That's four Yggdrasil leaves. I thought you could only have like one at a time. I'm just joking. I know you can. I know you can get more of it by cheesing the game. But technically, you're only supposed to, you're you're only allowed to have one. Technically. All right, we'll use the night light, I guess. Ooh, 
Who has a nightlight? Somebody's gotta have it. I'm forgetting who has a nightlight also. These guys have some good good equipment. I like equipping Elena now, not with those claws, but she has good equipment. I like using the uh, the Falcon knife earring because it lets her go twice. That was nice. Where's that stupid nightlight? What do I not have it? Ah, oh, here it is. Uh huh. I need to pay more attention. All right, so nightlight is being extinguished. I guess that, I guess I must have taken it at some point, but maybe it's gone. Whatever, forget about that place. Let's just go keep exploring. <laughs> what else haven't I found yet? There's gotta be some more cool places to visit. This is a pretty cool world, but a lot of different things going on. Oh yeah, the immigrant town. Forgot about that. Here's the immigrant town. Where's Hank Hoffman? There he is. Hasn't he started yet? Alright, let's see what he needs. Laissez faire. Alright, we'll help him out. Alright, instead of instead of flying our balloon, now let's use the old-fashioned zoom. So let's go to Laissez Faire. Here we go. There's somebody over the church by Laissez Faire, apparently. Looking for a new life? Yeah, we can we can help him out with that. Alright, so uh, here's a church. Alright, so she wants to leave. Sure, I'll tell her. And these guys don't have much to say about that. I'll just zoom back to Hank Hoffman's town. Hoffman's place. This is this game's cool because you can make your basically this is your town and you can build town up and ask people to join, and they start building settlements and buildings and all sorts of cool stuff, and eventually it becomes a huge town. It's it's a long grind though. Probably won't do it in one sitting right now. We're mostly showing off the party chat. That's the main, the main draw of today's video. His little house on the prairie. So he has a little house now. That's nice. Oh, here's my favorite character here. You ever play Chrono Trigger? You know, you know Frog from Chrono Trigger. Look, it's Frog. And he talks, and he even has the he even has the, like the sophisticated language that he uses. I feel as if I have woken from a slumber of one thousand and one years. I think this is actually the, the same one, the same character. See, he's all he's all sophisticated. Ah, uh, yeah, I've heard the rumor. All right, all right. Keep talking. Let's get some mini medals. I know there's some around here. Our bunny tail. Oh, it's that kind of game, huh? I know there's a mini medal around here. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, you want to do this to get those mini medals also. Uh, any good books? Nope. Man, get some good books, lady. Who's is that guy's wife? Oh yeah, Adrian and Rocky. Rocky and Adrian, huh? Isn't that an interesting reference to a certain movie? I didn't even realize that until now. What the heck? And he's a fighter. Wait, wait, she, she said he's a fighter, right? He's out there in the field slaving away. He always was a fighter. This game is so clever and silly, and every single character you invite here, there's a character uh, named Elvis Presley who you invite, and he talks like Elvis. He calls you Hound Dog. It's funny. It's like really funny. 
All right, let's get the heck out of here. So, let's see. That was a castle. Oh, this is a wee castle. It wouldn't last long against the battalion beasties. Princess Veronica, this is her town, right? This is her city. They were about to launch an attack on Endor and then Tornico saved it. Let's go talk to the king. Why not? Oh, where the hell is he? Oh, he's probably at the wedding. He's at the wedding, of course. Yeah, see, he's at the wedding. So she she raised Prince Regan, huh? The king of this of, of this kingdom is an asshole. He's he's he basically was going to invade Endor, and he only decided not to because uh, if his son marries uh, Veronica, then he'll still become the king regardless. So, kind of. Not really. It's not really, uh... Well, let's get going. Let's find what else is here. Oh, it's a poison marsh. Is there anything else to look for? There's gotta be some more interesting places to hang out. Things we haven't done. Oh, this is the, I like this place. Femiscura, the, the place where only women, or only women are allowed. Locked at night. Come back in the morning. Screw that. How am I supposed to go to sleep? Or I'm gonna have to probably rest up in inn nearby. Let's go think we have a hot air balloon. Alright, where's the end? Point me in the general direction. A oh, kitty cat. Okay, he's meowing. This is the town that Ragnar came from, right? What do you make of old Bonnie Burnland? It's no bad spot, eh? No, I wouldn't say it isn't. Or it is. Berlin celebrated for physical strength of the army. Elena wants to train with the palace guards. Hey, we saved the world already. We have plenty of time. Damn, there's homeless guys sleeping on the streets out here. Damn, I did not realize there was that kind of homeless issue here in Berlin. Where's the king? Ah, oh, the king's already sleeping. We only came here just so we can get some rest. He's asleep. 36, 36 gold, what the hell? That's a lot of money. No, it's not really. All right, let's get that guy out of here. Now we can go to the kingdom of only women. Hop over the mountains and right here. This is a bonnie place, all right? He calls everything a bonnie place. What's not a bonnie place to this dude? 
Castle Guard are feminine. C certainly we are in Femiscura. Alright, let's go. Yeah, there's only, there's only ladies here. There's something about a castle built by lassies. Everything just feels a wee bit different. Elena's great. I like having her around. Oh, did you know if you go behind these stairs and go, there's a staircase underneath behind it. Ooh, did you know about this? I bet you didn't know about this. Oh, look at that. The fire claw. Elena would like that, I think. Huh. I bet she would. This is Dragon Quest 4, so we jump down wells on natural. What the heck? Is a witch lady here? I think we have that. That's interesting, right? There's so much interesting, weird stuff in this game. Like, you go down a well and there's a weird witch down there. Come on. Where else are you going to find stuff like this besides Dragon Quest 4? Alright, I want to go to the to the dungeon, because I know the dungeon has a lady who likes Solo. Ah, here we go. No, that's not the dungeon. That's that's like where the treasure's the treasure's hidden. Maybe here. Ah, here we go. Got any good gossip? I guess not. Oh wow, this guy's. I could have sworn we had the, the the jail key to let people out. Well, no problem to me. Let's go say hi to the queen before leaving. Come all this way and know she's telling us to make her so scarce. She's a bonnie lass. Everything's bonnie to this guy. Oh, thanks. This guy's letting me go into the drawers. I did not... Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me right now? I freaking punk... ...getting arrested. I'm being framed for someone else stealing from the from the drawer, really. And now they're just gonna, they're just gonna throw us into the dungeon, of course. Now you like you see how you can do the stuff like this out of order. Most people have already done this by the time they beat the final game, but I, I it's like it's like I haven't done it yet. God damn. Oh, we gotta get the heck out of here. Alright, now what? Uh, no, it's not correct. What if I say yes, actually? Nope. Yes, the lady was lying, okay? I wonder who they're gonna leave in the cell. Maya. Well, I have no problem with them leaving Maya. She's kind of useless. Don't be leaving me here. This is obviously nonsense. 
I'm hitting you now solo. Well, I don't care. Bye. Let's get the heck out of here. It's no problem to me. All right, so we're just gonna leave Maya here because in the jail cell because I don't have the patience to go save her. They th they thought they did something. We're gonna take one of your uh, your people as hostage unless you get our treasure back. Nah, I'm good. Bye. Let's go back to Endor. That is messed up. <laughs> that is so messed up. Listen, maybe maybe we'll get back to her later. If you guys enjoy this, if you guys think this is fun and you want to play DQ4, let me know. I mean, I I can do it. This would make a really fun let's play, don't you think? Why not? It'd be a great Let's Play. I'm trying to remember which one is Endor. It's probably this. Yep. This is Endor. Alright, well, we should probably get some, some sleep. I'm getting very tired. It even has a casino down here. I don't want to... Should I play casino? Uh, let's play the casino. The casino in this game is absolute crap, because it's like, you you are not going to win. Alright, let's play max to tokens. Let's see if I win. Bull. Nope, I ain't doing any more of this. There's cards here, there's monster battles, the monster battles are a crapshoot. Like, it's, you are not going to, you're going to be down here for hours. This, this game fuels your gambling addiction. I hate coming to this casino. I'm leaving. Bye. Actually, I want to see what, what my party members had to say. Maya is a huge gambling addict, by the way. You learned that through the party chat, which was cut out of the original, of course. Oh, I didn't get to read. He's talking about how Maya, Maya likes gambling. Maya lo loves gambling. She's obsessed with gambling and, like, money. All right, let's, where's our room going to be? Is this my room? Uh, we can't really all fit in here. All right, what's this guy, guys? Say. Yep, I agree with that. Nobody really has anything to say yet. Maybe here. Man, this is like this is like when the the, the worlds have a wedding in real life. People are already just obsessed with it. Yeah, I went there. Oh, you made a pretty pack down there. Good for you. I haven't had that kind of luck. People, <laughs> see, she's like. I don't believe people care about Splendid Wings. I prefer Splendid Battles in the Coliseum. She's like so crazy meat-headed. All right, you know what? That was a good showcase of what Dragon Quest IV looks like with this party chat feature restored. This is a DS version of Dragon Quest IV, and the party chat is back. They have managed to put it back in. Concreted on G GitHub made a whole patch. You got to know Python to install it, and it was a little bit of a hassle, but it works. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. This is fun. This looks like it would be a great, you know, way to play the game. Hey, if you want me to play the game, let me know in the comments. I, I might be able to do a Let's Play of this if you guys are interested, because nobody's ever done a Let's Play of Party Chat Restore Dragon Quest IV, and I could probably figure out how to do it, and we can get a little a, a little series going on if you guys are interested. So please let me know how enjoyable this video was. Did you enjoy the video? Please let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.